What is going on, everybody? Drew Nelson back here again uh, doing another dip review for you guys. And this time it's more just kind of like a dip discourse video um, because I haven't been able to find a lot. A lot of people have been asking me to review um, Stoker's, and I like I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Food Lion didn't have it, um, so I'll probably go check Walmart today. But figured I would just do a really quick video before I went out and grabbed a round of golf. So. It'll be my first time playing in like two, three months, so it's probably going to go fucking horribly. Um, but I did want to do a video really quick on um, what your dip says about you, um, because I had this conversation with one of my coworkers last night, and we were just talking about how, like, you know, Grizzly Long Cut is typically dipped by like one demographic, and Copenhagen Long is obviously a different demographic. So what does your dip say about you? I'll give you guys my opinion on that and get your input as well. But first, let's go ahead and take a fat dip. Um, today we will be enjoying Copenhagen Southern Blend, um, mainly because I bought a log about two weeks ago, and I've just been, well, I bought two logs, and I've just been burning through it. So we're trying to kill, we're trying to kill the log, actually. This is the last one. So we will take a rather hefty dip today, and... I hope you all are ready to enjoy it with me. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay, so, about dip personalities. Holy shit. Um, I was thinking about this the other night, and I asked my friend, and my friend was like, yeah, I feel the same way. Um, so what I figured I would do is just go through various, just two, three different brands of dip and tell you what type of person generally fits the prototype of someone who dips Copenhagen Strait or Copenhagen Long. So, we'll start with Copenhagen Strait. Copenhagen Strait is a, it's an everyman's dip. It's a fucking, like, elegant, not, not really elegant, it's still elegant, but it's still fucking tobacco, and it's awesome. Um, Copenhagen Strait can be dipped by pretty much anybody. Um, I know that, for example, my dad loves Copenhagen Strait, um, because he can keep it, keep it in his lip for, you know, a few hours at a time or whatever. Um, and if he goes up close to talk to somebody, and even if he keeps it, like, towards the front of his lip, like, in here, um, if he goes up to talk to somebody, they don't notice the smell of it. And if they do, Copenhagen Straight doesn't reek of, like, you know, straight tobacco. Um, it actually smells, like, kind of spicy and nice. Like, a, they should make, like, a like an ode to Copenhagen Strait, because God knows I would buy that cologne in a fucking heartbeat. Um, so that's kind of the, the profile of Copenhagen Strait. Um, elegant, but still loves tobacco. Um, kind of a refined taste a little bit, um, but definitely more of a layman's dip. Um, just every, everybody can dip Copenhagen Strait, um, and everybody can, I guess not look cool dipping Copenhagen straight, but if you dip Copenhagen straight, then odds are you're very well acquainted with tobacco and fucking dip in general. Um, so the second one I wanted to go over, juxtaposing Copenhagen straight. So this is elegance, the fucking gold top, like, you know, all that. This is fucking the every man's dip. This, however, Grizzly Wintergreen, number one, it's the fucking devil. Uh, number two, if you dip w Grizzly Wintergreen, not saying everybody, of course not. This is just like it's such generalization on my part, and I do apologize if I offend anybody. But if you dip Grizzly Long Cut, Wintergreen especially, um, you probably also wear Air Force Ones and have diamond studded earrings and get inappropriately intoxicated at parties and punch holes in walls or like get in fights and get arrested and just like. You probably get D's in high school if you fucking chew Grizzly Wintergreen. I mean, that's just like, that's fitting the profile of the kids that I knew in high school that dipped uh, Grizzly Wintergreen. They were just all like fucking crazy asses. Like, the Grizzly Wintergreen pretty much just says, hey, I'm here to get fucked up and nothing else. So there you go. Um, the second one, or the third one, rather, that I, I don't even, I don't even know why I wanted to go over this because it's like, it, it shouldn't even be included, and I apologize for this. It's probably a waste of fucking time. Longhorn, I don't even have anything to say about this. This just says, hey, I'm fucking homeless. Like, that's about it. So, um, the final one, of course, um, 
everybody thought I was going to leave this one out, but I, of course, would never leave this out because this is the absolute gold standard of dip, Copenhagen long cut. Holy shit. The personality of a Copenhagen long cut dipper. Um, let's see. A working man. Probably, like, works fucking hard labor or, like, just does fucking manly shit. He probably loves barbecued meats. Like, he probably loves... I don't know, fucking putting in a long day's work, skinning an animal, and then, like, boning his hot wife or something like that. I don't fucking know. But Copenhagen Long Cut is pretty much, if John Wayne were still alive today, he would probably dip Copenhagen Long Cut or Copenhagen Snuff. Copenhagen Snuff, so Copenhagen Long Cut is, like, the working man's dip, like, the, the middle-aged man who, like, puts in a long fucking day of work and then, like, likes to enjoy his rugged fucking tobacco after after he gets home. Copenhagen Snuff, which I don't have a can of right now, Copenhagen Snuff is just the fucking seasoned vet. Like, that's, that's the most veteran dip that you could take. Like, if you dip Copenhagen Snuff, you're probably, like, 60-plus years old and you, like, probably fought in Vietnam or, like, World War II or some shit. And um, at, at this point... I really should know how to do it by now, and I'm sure that there's probably some people out there that have been dipping for considerably less time than I have uh, that can probably do it. The one thing that I need to learn to do, like, sooner rather than later, is when when you take a dip like that, normally you see people pinch it, right? Um, if you go on YouTube and look up the search bar, search Brett Favre taking a dip on the sidelines, and Favre, like, opens up this can of skull, right, and fucking goes in with his tongue and fucking, like, takes a dip with his tongue. And I need to learn how to do it. So, I mean, I'll probably, I'll probably practice that on the golf course. But um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did just kind of want to make it a short one. Um, I'll probably come back soon um, with some more stories from spring break uh, as well as some March Madness tournament thoughts because God knows Wichita State fucked up my bracket so bad and I'm so angry at them for it. Um, but at the same time, I did get a good laugh out of it because one of my residents pronounced their name Wichita. He was like, yeah, do you see Wichita State beat Pittsburgh or whatever? I was just like, it's Wichita, retard. Like, what are you, dumb? But um, so I'll be coming back soon and um, doing a more in-depth review on just one singular flavor. Um, I will try and find the Stokers um, so that I can do that because I have had uh, a lot of requests for that. Um, and if you have any input, like, on the personality types of uh, certain types of dip, um, the ones that we reviewed to go over again, um, what type of person do you think dips Copenhagen, Copenhagen straight? What type of person do you think dips Grizzly Wintergreen? What type of person dips Copenhagen Long Cut? And <laughs> what type, what's, what's the corner uh, that the person who dips Longhorn lives on? Um, so thank you guys for watching, uh, and sorry if this like video, if you were expecting a more in-depth review or anything, I just kind of wanted to have some fun real quick and fuck around before um, I went to play golf. So thank you guys for watching, and check back soon. Appreciate it.